All right, here we go. First thing you should always do is run the program. We got one eye size that size and then another a different size. We got eye size defined right here is 27. My guess is the left one. And so X value 160 if we look at the eyes and then eye size is being defined right there. Let's go ahead and use that on both the eye sizes. And then let's increase the eye size to 40. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, this guy's awake. <laughs> Ta -ta -da! Did it. Now we're going to draw a picture. You can go in and draw that up. Actually, I did draw one, didn't I? And if we take a look at this one, it's said to use as many uh, variables as possible that were um, the same. And so that's what I tried to do. And for the eyes, we're already there, the red ones. I didn't do much other, and I changed the Y1 uh, so that I can m use it multiple times. So I didn't use any numbers other than stroke weight, it looks like there. And then for the eyebrows, I um, utilized the X1, Y2, and that's what how it's drawing from there. That's that point. And then the second point is X3, Y1. And then I uh, utilized some of those same ones again to get the other part of the eyebrow. And then I did iris size for the size of the, our, my irises, those black eye, eyeballs. Let's go put 20 in there. And now we've got some big old eyes. And then I probably could have done a stroke weight one. And while we're doing this, let's just add in a stroke weight variable. And so we'll go right here. We'll go, uh, I grabbed the wrong one. Let's go stroke. And what was it? It was eight. Let's try 12. And then if I use this right here, and then it'll update both the mouth and the eyebrows because I used a stroke on each one of those. So we I used uh, quite a different, a few different, and go ahead and try it out. The uh, next one here, we've got to keep going right so uh, taking a look at how they use this let's say they created an x and a y variable and then 50 for each x and y and then it looks like they're using a counter method so it'll go x equals x plus 50 so that's where the first one is right the first one made an ellipse at x uh, 50 then it made the next one at x 100 right because it added 50 and then the next one was 150 so it's just adding 50 to each one of those so let's go ahead and make it look like that one let's copy that in there one two three four more times so it just kept going okay so how do i make it I don't, i'd have to redo everything to make it look like that one so i'm not going to do that but i'm going to change it to look like this one so if I copy this, this part's not relevant anymore, right? I'm gonna change this to Y and this one to Y. So I'm adding to the Y value and the X value. We came down here and notice the rest of them kept going because my new Y value was 100, right? And so if I wanted to keep going with this, I could, I'm, I'm gonna show text, it's gonna be easier. I could go ahead and add this to the end of each one of these statements to make it look like that third one. All right. Let's see what that looks like. Bada bing. And then I could just leave it and delete all the X value ones and they would all um, would start looking like that second one in there. So I could go and delete each one of those and have a line going straight down. So Ta -ta -da! not bad. So taking a look at this last one it's wanting us to take a look at how it works and then make a new shape so let's uh let's get a new color variable first because we can use strings as well so my color five is going to be red now i'm just going to go ahead and copy this paste it in there and we're going to change this to color five and then it's going to be ellipse it's a circle as well, but it's going to be smaller. Let's go 50, 50. So a red circle at that same location with a different color. And it utilized fill right there, but it grabbed the color from up here. So my color number five was red. 
Oh, man. Da -da -da. If we did it. We totally did it. You did it together. We did it. Dunzo. Good luck out there.